fans. Get ready because all of your questions will be answered. All of your deepest desires will come to fruition. All of your dreams will come true. What? What? I have no idea. We so have no idea. Eight. We just spent nine hours in a van. Van hair, van face. Feeling great. This is from Kyle James Ryerson. Why do you never perform Sleep Awake Live? We used to perform it all the time. We have not performed it recently due to just having too many songs to choose from and having it really not fit into the set. But I do believe we'll be playing it again sometime in the near future. Just buy tickets to all the shows and I'm sure we'll eventually see it. Cheers, Kyle. This is from Dallas Annabelle. If a bear and a shark got into a fight, who would win? Initial reaction would be definitely shark. What if it's in the forest? I think the shark would have a hard time in the forest. The shark couldn't necessarily. The thing is, a bear could go into the water because bears can swim. Sharks will never be on land. So therefore, if a bear and a shark were to get into a fight, the bear would have to be in the water. Therefore, the shark has the advantage. What if it's in a, a boxing ring? I'm going to go bear on that one. What if it was in <laughs> one of those shark cages? Scuba gear. If the bear had scuba gear? <laughs> it's from Craig Darling. It's a lovely name. The three of your four albums all have a three line design incorporated into them. Chicken scratches on Touch Up, Fish Eye on Oh My Heart, the sticks on, well, the sticks. What is the symbolism behind this design detail and why wasn't it included on Eureka? Darling. Vagina monologues, but a rock opera style. <laughs> Wait, watch. was vagina monologues actually a one woman show? <laughs> it's a monologue. <laughs> Alright, okay. we digress. This is from Mickey or M Mikey? I'm not sure, sorry. Though we enjoyed it very much, why did you decide to sing a Pixie song at last night's Grand Rapids show rather than one of your own? Despite you, but other than that, <laughs> I love the Pixies. We all love the Pixies. They're a great inspiration to us. They have this really nice little pocket in between body of ears and stand that we always put kind of a different homage to somebody. I love to sing it. It's been the Pixies, I guess, twice, and also again in Johnston's song. Okay, this is a question for both of us. From Johnny Hunter to address to both of us. If you could collaborate with any musician, dead or alive, who would it be? Well, both of mine are alive. Definitely say Nick Cave for one. I would love to sing with you, Nick Cave, for listening. You're my idol, dream god, and please just answer my prayers. <laughs> and if not, then Daniel Johnston, who I also love, and is also an idol, dream god, and I would love to collaborate with him anytime. Then. I can vouch for how fantastic of a backup singer she'd be for the both of you. So if you want to call us, our number is uh, 555. Five, 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 five. <laughs> I would love to bring Elvis back from the dead to do a duet. Probably do Love Me Tender. I would do anything to collaborate with Rufus Wainwright. I don't even care if you anything, didn't want me to sing. Rufus. Anything. I know you're gay. I love you. And I will just sit on your piano or whatever you want. <laughs> Did that sound more sexual than it needed to be? It sounded quite sexual. I'll sit. In a chair. I'll sit on, I'll sit on anything. <laughs> I'd sit on anything yes, for you, Rufus.